What did you think about the big uh, steroid trial that Vince McMahon had in the early 90s? And do you think that trial had anything to do with why they released you? Because it seemed they got rid of all the bodybuilders around that time. Um, actually, I was I, I just left the right before then. Um, <clears throat> you know, as I, you know, I was the second one on the stand in that. And as I told them, you know, Vince never forced us to do it, okay? But, of course, he liked if you did it because you're monsters. You made them money. People want to see monsters. They want to see people that can move around and, and are strong as oxes. We were cartoon characters, literally real-life cartoon characters. And, you know, of course, Vince loved that, you know? He never forced anybody to taste it. You don't have a job unless you did it. I never saw him want to do that, you know. Um, you know, but at the same time, I also knew that we were doing testing, and I knew there were certain guys that were getting by. He was letting them slide, and that wasn't fair. You know, it's like if you're going to do it, you got to do it to everybody. Otherwise, don't do it at all. It's not fair to the other guys. You it know, seems I, like it's still that way today, even. Yeah, it's this it, will change in that. If you, he's got his guys that. To this day, you could tell it out there. I mean, you know, I, I love Bobby Lashley. But you're telling me Bobby Lashley isn't taking something? I, I've done it, so I know. You know, you don't look a specimen like Bobby Lashley. He's a specimen out there. He's so much bigger than everybody else. Same with Brock. Brock, too. And Brock's, Brock's already been caught in UFC, you know, that he, that, you know, he, he tested positive. So that's already a known already, you know. So... You know, I mean, you know, but, you know, I, you know, it's Vince's place. Vince can do whatever he wants. Yeah. He can. It's his territory. For that Dr. Zahorian guy, did you get your stuff through him at that time, too, or you had your own people? No, thank God. He was a, Dr. Zahorian was a quack. I didn't like him. You come to uh, Pennsylvania, he was a doctor at all of our things in Pennsylvania. He come in, he take your blood pressure. He open this bag. He says, "Anything you need today?" I'm like, "No, I don't want any." I, no, no. I just had a bad feeling about doctors or I just had sometimes you just had that bad feeling, and um, you know, and then to find out down the road he gets popped, and of course, you know, for him he you know rats out everybody. You know, everybody gives him a list of all the FedExes and all that stuff. You know, and just you know, I mean, it's just it's not right. If you do something, you do it and take your time for it. You know, it's not right, ran out everybody. Now, you don't have to answer this, but one of the most, we have a lot of bodybuilders that watch this channel, and one of the most common questions that people wanted me to ask you was your favorite cycle, but you don't have to be specific if you don't want to. You know, it's funny, a lot of people thought I took a lot of stuff back then. I didn't, I didn't take, I, there was no growth hormone back then. There was no, uh, you know, things like there are now. Um I just, like I say, I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a Polish guy. I'm a big Polak. <laughs> and, you know, anything I touch, I just grew at that time. It didn't, talk, it didn't matter what it was. I would take uh, just some sip, um, some, dec some DECA. And um, I'm trying to remember the other one. It's for your, it's, it, it, it makes your tendons super strong. But I would usually take those three. And I would take like maybe two shots a week. That's it. And I, I just got unbelievable results from it. Really good results. And everyone wanted to know, I'm sure you've got this question before. Kevin Nash told this story about allegedly you asked Shawn Michaels to give you a shot and he said you were full or something. Is that a uh, fabrication or did that actually happen? You know, I, I don't remember that anymore. It might have happened. I just don't remember that part, you know. But David B. took a lot of heat from a lot of people and said, oh, look, you guys are... And, and I'll tell you what, Bret Hart is one of the best people at drawing those caricatures on, on he find chalkboards. He would get the early so he could drive all of our caricatures on the chalkboard. And then, you know, usually um, it always have Davey and me up there all the time. It'd be either Davey or me bent over with a bullseye on her ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, and they were the funniest things. Bret was so good at that, you know, but, you know, like I say, man, I don't, I don't hide nothing. I got nothing to be embarrassed about. You know, I did what I had to do at the time. You know, and I, I gave the people a larger-than-life person. 
that was a super sized cartoon character. And you're very healthy. Barb looks great too, still. And that's two examples of people that did take that and are fine. So, do you think it's more in cases like Hercules and some of these other guys that passed early that they were also doing other stuff like alcohol, painkillers, and uppers and downers? You know, I always say you can get away with one thing in your life and your body, your heart will stay like that. If you start mixing everything, your heart starts going like that. It starts going up and down. It doesn't know, you know, what's happening. You can't mix all those things and expect your heart to stay normal. It doesn't happen. Um, you know, it's, it's just a bad, it's just unfortunate in my business, you know, the way we traveled, the pain the guys were in all the time. Everything else, I mean, I, I saw guys wake up, you know, they're taking uh, stuff to wake them up. You know, they take a shot for their body. They take a bunch of Percocets. Um, you know, they take Coke before a match to get them, you know, pumped up for the ring and that stuff. You know, after the match, you have to take, uh, you know, some some uh, sleeping pills to make them sleep at night so they could sleep a little bit. I mean, it was, it is what it was at that time. It's just the way it worked. And I find it interesting that superstar Billy Graham is a good friend of mine. He's right now only four years or so younger than Bruno was when he died. And he, uh, Superstar is one of the admittedly uh, biggest steroid users of the history of wrestling. So that goes yeah. to show you that it doesn't necessarily make your life shorter. No, it doesn't. You know, if, if you take care of yourself and that stuff, you know, and like I said, you don't mix all these different things. You can't do that in life. You know, it, it's like it's like people have cocaine overdoses. You know, you can't just boom and all of a sudden kick in a ton of cocaine. Your heart can't handle that. It can't do it. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.